Good morning, boys and girls. Today is the 12th of May, 2020. The theme of our lesson is Let's Cook. Let's start with study skills. Today we'll talk about using dictionaries. Dictionaries present words in alphabetical order. A dictionary entry can show how a word is pronounced, what part of speech it is, a simple explanation, an example sentence. Use dictionaries while you learn a foreign language. This will help you to expand your vocabulary. Сегодня мы говорим о словарях. Использовать словари очень полезно. Словари показывают нам слова в алфавитном порядке. В словаре мы можем узнать, как слово произносится, какое оно части речи, что обозначает это слово, простое объяснение, и пример предложения, использование этого слова в предложении. И используйте словари, когда вы изучаете иностранные языки. Это поможет вам увеличить ваш словарный запас. Сейчас мы редко пользуемся словарями бумажными, но э, на смену пришли словари э, в интернете. Я вам хочу вас познакомить с одним из таких словарей. Вот сайт, это Cambridge Dictionary. А вам уже пора пользоваться не словарями, которые переводят слово с э, английского на русский, не англо-русскими словарями, а англо-английскими, те, которые объясняют значение слова. Вот как выглядит, если вы зайдете вот на этот сайт, dictionary.cambridge.org. Вводите слово, вот здесь будет окошечко «Искать». Сюда вы вводите слово. Я выбрала слово «boil». Если вы нажмете на эту кнопочку, вам будет, вы услышите произношение по британском варианте английского языка, здесь в американском. И здесь есть транскрипция «boil», «boil». Например, слово boil не имеет разницы в произношении ни в британском английском, ни в американском. А дальше пишет, вам, у вас идет информация boil – глагол, в скобочках – подогревать жидкость. И мы понимаем, что boil – это кипятить. А значение – достигать или являться причиной, чтобы что-то достигло температуры, при которой э, жидкость – превращается в газ, начинает превращаться в газ. Ну, здесь проще, то есть подогревать жидкость, нагревать жидкость, кипятить. И здесь у нас э, примеры предложений, в которых можно использовать э, слово boil. Например, третье самое простое, его прочитаем. If you give water to a small baby to drink, you have to boil it first. Если вы даете воду попить маленькому ребенку, сначала скипятите эту воду. So, I want you to use dictionaries. Uh, you may find many different dictionaries. I prefer this one, but you don't, you, you don't have to use this particular one. You may choose your dictionary. Now let's go to exercise one on page. Just a second, I'll check where it is. Page 90. And uh, use your dictionaries to explain the words below. What part of speech are they? How do we pronounce them? Which actions can you see in the pictures? What is the past tense of these verbs? This is your task. I am not going to complete it with you right now. I want you to find these words in dictionaries. You may use this one or whatever you want. So you'll find to explain these words, not to translate, не перевести, а объяснить эти слова. Boil, fry, steer, dice, mix, bake, add, melt, peel, Four. So I want you to find these words in dictionaries and to explain them. I want you to write this exercise down. 
and to send me a picture via Viber or Dnivnikru. And here you see pictures with these actions. You may also uh, do it like this. You may uh, write a word boil, then its explanation, and then you may uh, uh, put a number of the picture. For example, do we see boil here? I don't really see it. Pro mm -mm. There is no boil, so uh, there is no picture for the word for this word. But you'll find uh, some pictures for the other word for the other words. Для этой картинки нас для этого слова нет картинки подходящей. Но для некоторых вы найдете. Можете написать слово и кратко объяснение и номер картинки. And then take a photo of it and send it to me. Exercise two, page 90. Look at the text. What type is it? A menu? A shopping list? A receipt? A recipe? Что это? Меню? Список продуктов для покупок? Список покупок? Чек или рецепт? Well, it is really easy for you. I know and I know that you know that it is a recipe. Это рецепт. Let's listen to this recipe. Unit 9C. Let's cook. Exercise 3A, page 90. Apple muffin. Ingredients. Two cups of flour. Half a cup of sugar. One and a half teaspoons baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. One egg. One cup of yogurt. A quarter of a cup of milk. A quarter of a cup of oil. Two tablespoons of orange juice. One cup of diced apple. Half a cup of raisins. Preheat oven to 400 degrees. In a bowl, stir together the flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda and salt. In another bowl, mix the egg, yogurt, milk, oil and orange juice. Add the mixture to the first bowl together with the diced apple and raisins and stir well. Put the mixture into 16 muffin cups and bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Preparation, 15 minutes. Cooking, 20 to 25 minutes. Portions, 16. Uh, it was very interesting how she read the ingredients. Let's listen to this part again. Unit 9C. Let's cook. Exercise 3A, page 90. Apple muffins. Ingredients. Two cups of flour. Half a cup of sugar. One and a half teaspoons baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. One egg. One cup of yogurt. A quarter of a cup of milk. A quarter of a cup of oil. Two tablespoons of orange juice. One cup of diced apple. Half a cup of raisins. Okay, so as you see, she's read two cups of flour, but of isn't written here, but she still, she, she reads it. So two cups of flour, one half of a cup of sugar. This is a teaspoon, teaspoon, and this is a tablespoon. China Loshka teaspoon, столовая ложка, tablespoon, one and a half, половина. 
a quarter четверть. I think it is pretty interesting how she read it, and it is really hard. You don't have to remember it, but it is good that now you know it a little bit about it. Exercise three. What information does the recipe include? Decide in pairs. Well, we're going to decide not in pairs, but what everyone will be on their own. Time it takes to make. So how much time does it take to make apple muffins? Let's look here, 15 minutes for preparation and 20, 25, I'm sorry, it's 25 here, it's not 24. Ошибка здесь не 24 минуты должна быть 25. И произносил диктор 25, и в учебнике у меня написано 25, вы можете тоже проверить, почему-то в электронном учебнике 24. Well, so it's 15 plus 20, 25, it would be 35 to 40 minutes. So, so it will take you 45, 35 to 40 minutes to make apple muffins. Нам потребуется 35-40 минут, чтобы приготовить apple muffins. How many it serves? How many it serves? Насколько порций? It serves 16 portions. 16 portions. Where you need to make it. Where you need to make it. Mm. You need to make it in your kitchen, I guess. So I think that it is a weird question, a strange question. Где вам нужно это готовить? In a kitchen. You, you are to make it in your kitchen, right? На кухне. I think that's what they ask. Uh, what you need to make it? What you need to make it? Oh, so now we have to speak about all the ingredients. We, we have to take all the ingredients to make apple muffins, right? Flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, salt, eggs, yogurt, a cup of, oh, a, um, a quarter of, a quarter of a cup of milk. Uh, there is um, oil, here we can see some olive oil, orange juice, apples, raisins. By the way, do you remember what a raisin is? Raisin. Uh, how do we call it? Izum. I hope you remember it. Uh, how to make it. And this is how to make it. Как сделать? Вот, мы можем прочитать рецепт, чтобы ответить на пятый вопрос. Окей. Okay. Uh, now let's go to, ex to page 91. And here I just uh, want you to uh, learn about places to eat in the UK. I want you to listen to these texts and to, to try to understand them at least. We'll listen to it one time. Unit 9D, Culture Corner 9, Exercise 1, page 91. Places to eat in the UK. Sandwich bars. Most people in the UK work in offices. They don't have time to make their own lunch. This is why sandwich bars are so popular. In a sandwich bar, you can buy sandwiches, pastries, cakes, soft drinks, juice and coffee. Then you may choose to eat your lunch there or take it back to work. Restaurants British people go to restaurants on special occasions like birthdays and anniversaries or on business meetings. People like to visit all sorts of restaurants. Indian, Chinese, Italian and Mexican cuisine are all very popular. British food is very tasty as well. The dishes usually include fresh meat or fish with vegetables. Fish and chip shops. Fish and chip shops are England's traditional takeaway food. 
They serve fried fish covered in batter with fried potatoes. People like to add salt and vinegar, peas, tomato ketchup or curry sauce. There are thousands of fish and chip shops all over Britain. Locals and tourists all love to visit them. Pie and mash shops. Pie and mash is one of Britain's most traditional dishes. It is exactly what it says. Meat pies with mashed potato in herb sauce. The first pie and mash shop dates back 200 years. Today, pie and mash shops are very simple and cheap places to eat. So now you know about places to eat in the UK. There are sandwich bars, restaurants, fish and chips shops, and pie and mash shops. I'm pretty sure you have known about sandwich bars, restaurants, and fish and chip shops. And this is something new to you, pie and mash shops. Now let's talk about your home task. You ought to learn the new words. The new words about from exercise one, from this exercise. It is exercise one on page 90. Work with the dictionaries, explain these words, and learn them by heart. Our lesson is over. Goodbye.